butcher day for these two. This is their temporary cage. Let me put up real quick. They're such pretty ducks. Get in there. They're like, nope, we're not. <laughs> we're not doing it. Nope, you can't make me. Just grab them. They're easy. Did that go in there? Oh. You guys are idiots because I'm going to go that way. Why did you put the cage like that? Yeah, so I told you. Let's go. You're going with me. Smile. I'll do the other one. Okay. <laughs> Got one. Money over here. I know. You ready? Smile. Oh, you said you'd do it. Smile. Up here. Hold on. You didn't smile. Oh, Hi guys, it's Melissa from Starry Family Farm. You know that we got some ducks back in the spring. We had two ducks that we got um, from Baumgars. And it was hatchery picks. We didn't know what breed they were going to be. We didn't know if they were boys or girls or what we were going to get. We were just hoping that they were girls or at least that one was a girl. Um, so we raised them with 10 chicks and everything was fine up until about two months ago in August when we noticed that one of the ducks was being really aggressive with the hens and jumping on it and like, jumping on the hens and like grabbing their heads. And I'm, and so we just were watching it and we're like, what on earth is happening? And we thought maybe at that point then that that was the boy and that the other duck was a girl. They had different colored bills. Um, so at one point though, I noticed that the one we thought was a girl was doing it also to the hens. So I looked it up googled it and it basically said that you know we had two boy ducks and since they don't have any girl duck options they were going for the hens and that ducks have a completely different um reproductive system I guess than than roosters do and so it could really hurt if not kill the hens so at that point we separated the ducks we just put them in that little, little temporary um little fence that I put up quick and we didn't really know what we we're gonna do with them at that point um, ducks are really messy we didn't want to get more ducks and so we ended up taking them to we tried to take them to someone's farm with a pond they said we could take them there uh, we went to drop them off and she was just kind of like well um, you're welcome to leave them here but those are big ducks. Those are actually ducks for butchering for meat. So, you know, if you want to reconsider and take them to the butcher, I have a great butcher that it won't be, it won't cost very much. It's only like $6 a duck. Um, she said, but you can leave them here. Um, but just know that I won't be actively taking care of them. Like they could basically live here, but you know, I won't be making sure that they're safe and stuff because um, you know, she just has too many other animals to worry about that are actually part of their farm. 
Um, she said, just a heads up, somebody dropped off 12 ducks and only six are left, you know, because there's predators everywhere. And so at that point, I'm like, well, there's a 50% chance of their survival, um, probably even a less amount, you know, as the years go on. And so we decided to take them to the butcher. Um, Justin is out doing that right now. It's not something that we had planned on doing. Um, we had planned on having pet ducks. And so, you know, we felt bad about that, that aspect of it. Um, they weren't tame. They weren't really pets. I mean, they didn't have any kind of a bond with us. They were scared to death of us just because the kids, you know, didn't really spend a lot of time with them because they were down in the hay barn that's clear down, um, out of the yard and the kids would never go down there when the ducks are babies. And we just don't have the setup for them for the winter. You know, their little cage is temporary. There's not a lot of shelter. So we ultimately decided that that was the best option was to butcher them and have them for probably Thanksgiving or Christmas. Um, like I said, it's not what we were planning to do originally. That wasn't the plan. Um, I feel like it would have been easier of a decision if that was our goal from the very beginning was to raise them for meat. But in a way, it's breaking us in for that process. We've been talking about getting broiler chickens and then having them butchered just so that we know where, you know, what is in our meat and how it's been treated. And um, so I guess this is kind of like a gateway <laughs> to starting to grow and raise more of our own animals for meat. There's your ducks. <laughs> They're not quick. They gave us the head for. Why would they do that? We what do you mean? The Where's the head? It's right here. Oh, it's the neck. The neck. I mean, Let's not do the, the neck. Head, yeah, neck. I don't know. Maybe to make a uh, stuffing. Yeah. Well, this is it. We're gonna freeze it up, and then this is gonna be Thanksgiving. And Christmas. And Christmas. <laughs>